The thing with a chocolate cigar, it's very interesting and there's a lot of interest. Somebody from Australia wants 160 chocolate cigars. So yeah, it's exciting. We are at Sandra Farms in Adjuntas, Puerto Rico. We do Arabica coffee for our brand, some citrus and turmeric and ginger and cacao for our other product. Both myself and the chocolatier never found a totally cylindrical mold. So I said, ah, 3D printing might save the day, bingo. The cigar project with Re3D was pretty fun to work on with our chocolatier, Bahari, in Mayaguez. Sandra Nusril had the idea for the cigars. They used basically a wooden dowel to make a very rough mold. It wasn't very practical. It was a pain to use. You could only do a few at a time. Now that they're trying to gradually increase their production, they weren't able to scale the way that they had wanted to with that product with the molds that we had. One of the benefits of working with 3D printing is that we're able to make it modular. And as we continue to expand, we can literally just add more units to that. So far, we've been able to start increasing our production and getting it out there into the market. I think obviously all over the world, people are taking 3D printing and unleashing the potential on all different types of industries. Here in Puerto Rico, on a coffee and cacao farm, it's amazing to see how many different ways and different applications that there are here in such an unlikely place.